can you tell us, by all means, if you know, what were the circumstances concerning the arrest of Mr. A.B. Talbot, who was son of the late President Talbot? There have been all these different versions. One version states that he went to the U.S. Embassy for asylum but was turned out. Another version states that he went to the French Embassy, was, he was temporarily uh, taken in, but then later on turned over based upon threat from the military government, as Samuel do at the time. What did you hear concerning his arrest? Thank you. What I heard was, now I can't prove this, what I heard was that uh, it was rumored that he went and sought political asylum at a French embassy. As you know, his uh, wife, his wife uh, uh, can't remember her name now. Desi. His wife, Desi, was on the Ivory Coast. And uh, so uh, there, of course, would have the, 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 uh, president, the late President Hofe Bonnier connection with the French government. And, uh, and Desi being his daughter, of course, there were a lot of interests that are in there. But I heard also that. Uh, the uh, military, though, and the PRC uh, people demanded the French government to, the French embassy to turn ABTOR uh, to them, or they made some threat. Now, whether it was diplomatically acceptable, I don't know that part, but that's what I heard, it was a rumor. And that's how uh, he was later turned over and brought to the post target. You stated earlier that he gave you a message contained on a roll of toilet paper tissue to, um, to whoever. Can you share with us what was the content of the message? Because this message was given you just a day before his alleged execution. Unfortunately, it was not the day before. The day he, uh, yeah, the day before the, his, uh, 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 he was whatever it was. Uh, Unfortunately, I say unfortunately because when I received, uh, unlike most of the instances where I received uh, messages and stuff, it was secretly done. I mean, this was a risky, risky, risky thing, you know, for my own self. So I tried to do it in a way like when I was uh, <coughs> talking to them one on one, and I. I didn't spend much time, in all my time there, I didn't spend a whole lot of time with, uh, uh, with one prisoner, you know, because the longer time you spend, I mean, the more you are liable to be suspected of something. And this was a common thing and it was rapid. So I had to be very careful about it. So, but this very day when he gave me that rule, I wish, I wish I had kept that because I think that would have either helped us some way, but again, it was very risky. If I had done that, uh, perhaps those you say you would not live to tell the story. In other words, you didn't read the message on the tissue paper. You no man. No man. As soon as I left him, I went and flushed it because I saw this guy. I knew this guy saw me receiving that note. You know, and I'm glad I did because just Rip Boy never called a meeting like that before. You know, but just simultaneously, you know, he called this meeting. So I'm glad I did, and he, he, we went through inspection that day. So I wouldn't have been here if that note were for me. That was it. When these uh, um, individuals from the previous government, President Talbot, were arrested and in prison, including some of his relatives and, and other friends, was there, at any, was there any time where members of the um, ruling People Redemption Council, the PRC, visited any of these people in prison? or did any of the advisors who were now, some of them cabinet ministers, did any of them visit these, um, these prisoners and what could have been the subject of their visits? Very good question. Yes, I saw several. I saw several of them that visited. Uh, if I can recall, uh, Podia, Nicholas Podia, visited, and uh, uh, Penu, Harrison Penu, um, 
Queen Opa, a couple of times, I did see him. But I was never privileged as to how, what they were talking about. Because another, I went to go stand up there to hear what they were talking. Most of the time, you know, uh, now, what it did was that at that time, it depends on who, who, who came to visit. Say, if it was uh, somebody that knew Rebo very well, and he was high PRC uh, officials, Rebo will accompany that person inside to see the person, whoever he came to see. But again, if it's somebody else, most of the time it was remain in the stockade office area where they had uh, a wide open waiting room where the visitor would sit and then they would call uh, Reboy or his assistant will send for the prisoner and they would interact outside there. You know. Then, other instances, Reboy will get the prisoner will send for the prisoner, the prisoner will come into his office and this PRC or whoever will uh, meet in his office. So it depends on the circumstances, it depends on what he, the commander wanted to do. But I did on several occasions see various visit uh, visitors.